Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the 14th video in the series and today we will solve a simple Apple interview question that uses list and is from lead code. So let's get started. For this problem, we must find the product for every number in a list except the current index and we cannot use division. So if the list was 4, 2, 5, 1, we would output 10, 28, and 40. Because for the first index, we don't include 4, so it's 2 times 5 times 1, which is 10. For the second index, we don't include 2, so it's 4 times 5 times 1, which is 20, and so forth. What makes this question different from a typical list question is that you have to use two while loops or two for loops, because you need to see what's before the index and what's after the index. So let's start to code this. So I have the num list, which is 4, 2, 5, and 1, and I'm going to want to create a new list, which will eventually hold the answers, but I'm just going to define it right now and leave it blank to start. And then I'm going to do a loop for i in range, the length of num list, j equals 0. And you'll see why I use j in a second. It's because we're going to have a while loop inside of a for loop. So we'll need i for the length of the list and j to see it where we are inside the list and then i'm going to set product equal to one and you'll see why in a moment then i'm going to do while j is less than i to see the numbers to the left of the current index which is four and there are none but if there are some for example when i equals one two or three i would multiply the product by the current index that j is equal to so product times equals num list j. One thing to remember about list, if you don't know this already, list started an index of zero, not one. If you need a refresher on list, please click the link above and that will take you back to my video on lists. So product times equals num list j, then we're gonna want to increment j by one. So we now have when j is less than i, but we also need to see when j is greater than not. So we'll do while j is less than length of num list. And we don't need to include while j is less than i because this while loop is complete. One thing we also need to include is we need to increment j by 1 after the first while loop. Because let's say i equals 1 for example, j is less than i at the beginning so it's going to multiply by 4 then it's going to equal 2, which is not less than i, so we need to increment j by 1 to go to 5. Then we'll put in this while loop what we put in the last while loop. Then once we finish this while loop, we need to append the product to the new list, so we'll do that here. And then we'll print the new list. So when we run this program, we should get the correct answer. And we do get 10, 20, 8, and 40, which is the correct answer, so we have solved the problem. One thing you may be asking about this is why did I use a for loop in line 3? I could have used a while loop, and you're correct, this will work if you use a while loop. But it is preferable to use a for loop over a while loop when possible, because it's cleaner and it's faster. The reason why I used while loops inside this for loop is because I needed to see when j was less than i and when j was greater than i. So I needed to increment j by 1 in the middle for the function to work. So that's why I used a while loop and not a for loop inside of the outside for loop. So just to walk you through this one more time, for i in range length num list, which is 4, and i starts at 0 and will go to 4 but not including 4 because num list has indexes of 0, 1, 2, and 3, j equals 0, product equals 1 because 1 times anything will equal the new number and then while j is less than i will multiply by num list and then add 1 to j then when j equals i we're gonna add 1 to j after that as long as j is less than the length of the list we'll multiply the product by the current j index and then add 1 and then when we're through with that we'll append the product in case you're wondering we don't need to deal with if num list was an empty list so we solved it and it works. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.